Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to estimate a Markov regime switching model. In this specific tutorial, we will be following Hamilton's two stage regimes, the paper that he has written in 1989, and that is an official uh, eViews tutorial as well. So, we will be replicating the same. So, let us begin with opening the data file that you can i have already opened the data file here but i would close it and to show you how to open it in a few clicks from the official eviews file so i would create open the eviews work file go to the my computer and c drive open the eviews installation folder go to the illustrated data sets i will see for example if there is any of that so that is example files folder and similarly another eviews folder that i would have to open and check so maybe there is in the folder on regime switching let me find it very quickly so let is let's see where it is actually there should be in eviews 9 and then example files in eviews 9 manual data and again the regime switching or switching regression is that is chapter 3 of the manual so i can open the hamilton gnp file that is gnp underscore hamilton work file and that is what use official manual is also describing and the paper that is Hamilton's 1989 paper and two stage Markov switching model so I would open it and I would click on quick estimate the equations and change the method to switch regressions I can define the dependent variable to be G and GNP I can even list down non switching regressions that should be up to a or four as per the method of hamilton so i would mention all the a or four here and i can identify regime specific errors here i can change it to markov and here i can change to different other options that you can define according to the paper so i would leave it to the default and i would specify my model between g and gnp and i can also define other regressors if i have in my model in general markov switching or the switching regime models are actually applicable when we presume that the relationship between the variables would be changing between different regimes of the time periods so once we are done with that with the specification of non-switching regressors you have to identify these non-switching regressors from your literature and specification of the objective research and similarly you can define the your model that is the dependent variable followed by independent variables and so on from here we can define some specification of the regimes like i would try to estimate initially with four regimes if they are, they are any available and default is minimum two so i would specify four and try to estimate the model so eviews will take a little bit of time because it is replicating and simulating the results so once it is done our model will be estimated and would get this results that would be the relationship between the variables will be estimated for different regimes so in this specific case we have mentioned four regimes so we would get four different set of regression results between the variables for four different regimes so as i mentioned earlier that if there are any availability of four regimes we would get the coefficient estimate so i would go back to the estimation and change that to the default two stage two stage regimes or two regimes and go back to estimation so i can see that the estimations are produced and i can see that i have a relationship between the variables for two different regimes so this kind of study this kind of uh, econometric method will be applicable whenever we assume that there are two regimes of the relationships like there might be one time period a sub time period within the main time time series 
where we can estimate one type of relationships in another regime, another subsample or sub time period where the relationship might be different. So we can identify that the relations are actually different from the coefficients. So let us see how it can help us in the future. Thank you very much.